Just wait for you guys to jump in before I start this morning. Hopefully there's not too much uh, background noise with the headphone and everything. So I had to, um, I posted some photos yesterday in town, um, off town, being out and about because I guess exercise and because our friend had to do, sorry, not enough like that. Oh, here we go, this way. Just trying to get the sun out of my face. It's too hot. It's a beautiful day from Ray again. It's a bit uh, cloudy just before, but now it's um, bright again. So it's, you know, everybody's home enjoying, um, enjoying what we can to be me mentally prepare ourselves for day two. Just saw a, just saw a truck go past with a whole bunch of bags of stuff. On, on, the, um, on the back, I guess, on the trailer. Um, yeah, walking in, yesterday in town was surreal. Taking photos, took a bit of video. Some of you might have seen the photos. And um, being, a, being a creative person on the way back, you know, I thought, you know, this is, I was saying to my mate, this is the best time to make a zombie movie or something like that, you know, like an apocalypse thing, because it's all so quiet. And also, all the streets are empty. And my mate was sort of um, finding it very surreal. And he was talking how it just, just felt strange to be able to walk on the road, in the middle of the road, and all about it, being cross, cross across the street with no cars coming. And that's basically us for the next four weeks, really. There's uh, a very quiet, surreal environment. And um, as I mentioned, for those of us who require a um, work um, strategy in our heads um, to be in a place of calm and adjustment to where we can actually start creating stuff, it's a very um, strange place to try to get to sometimes. That's why you hear about writers having writer's blocks where they can't write for years sometimes because they're not not in that right uh, nothing's working right in the heads and stuff or or artists finding it really hard to get you know get pen to paper or get um, brushed to to the canvas you know a paintbrush or even uh, ceramic ice and stuff so if you're doing you know uh, ambulance just went past Big food just went back, um, truck just went past with a big truck there, things for countdown. So yeah, so it's very surreal. And, um, but, we're in New Zealand, you know, we're people that like to socialize and get together and, you know, uh, hang out and do stuff. So yeah, um, top of the, yeah, news, one of our artists uh, on this book, uh, Armadillo Justice, has it has it so i would like you guys to if you can possibly go to risesofcomics.com and buy some st stuff there for uh, on our side to support uh support austin's work um you know because anytime you support a creator's work you know it's not you're not just giving it to him that's money gets spent on his family as well so seeing one of our artists actually have coronavirus brings it home really hard because you know it's someone that's work that's working on something that's part of your prop um, part of your company part of the, what you're doing and the hard thing right now is dealing with comic pro, uh, comic professionals if, uh, if you're on twitter you've noticed a lot of them are really attacking independent creators like myself independent creators like uh, like you know our guys here on the books like this um, and other people just outside of the, the mainstream comics like dc and marvel and the other big five, you know, uh, calling us pieces of crap, basically, calling customers, calling people that pay their wages, pay their income, just horrible, horrible things right now on Twitter. And it's, I think they don't know how to deal with not being paid. They don't know how to deal with isolation. And so they're out there basically doing that sort of stuff. But so it's hard trying to be positive in this time uh, when people that should be positive I, you know, about the business because comic books is done, mainstream comic books is done, direct-to-market comic books is done, and I knew it was coming, 
because this is, this is coming in, has been coming for the last five years, five, five years mainly, but a bit longer than that. Um, so that, you know, like I said, they're all trying to um, get on to Twitter to try to get money, but while well, trying to do that, but they're trying to rubbish everybody else that's outside of them. So they don't, they're not really finding it easy to deal with, um, um, with the customers. Marvel saying, well, go to the curbside around the world and pick up your comics. You know, comic shops around the world are open, but they're not. Comic shops aren't open. Diamond's not delivering, so how can comic book shops be open? This is your message to the comic shop things. Why not say go online and buy digital comics? Why not buy comics and order them and then wait? Once this is over, then you can go get them from your thing. So you're not actually holding on to that cash, but you're still supporting the creators right now. But Marvel doesn't want to do that. Marvel's like, get out of your house, go and buy comics when there's when you're on lockdown. So they don't really understand what the world's going through right now. I mean, the entire New Zealand's lockdown, right? So all the necessities are only open, essentials are open, everybody else is closed. So their message to everybody else is get out of your house. Uh, that's not going to work when the, people, the one single company is delivering it. All these comics isn't delivering. So it isn't delivering for the next couple of months. So anyway, I don't want to be negative here because I'm trying to get as positive, but that's where it's happening. So get online, support your comic shops, your local comic shops, put the orders still in that you're going to put the orders in, uh, buy digital if you're buying digital through them, uh, you know, they have codes and stuff. Go online to our, our store online, right? Uh, get our book through Amazon, get, uh, get our books through Kindle and drive through because, hey, we still got to be coming out of this. Uh, somewhere down the line, right, when we do, and hopefully we come out really well, and we don't want to come in a, a negative, financial negative, where we have to actually close shop, because that's not what we want to do, you know, uh, and there's about 3.4 million people around in America right now that are unemployed because of this, uh, they had the lowest uh, unemployment just a couple of months ago, actually a couple of weeks ago, right, just before this happened, so it's kind of, a, um, you know, it's kind of important to just keep supporting who you need to be supporting in the industry and tell you what man i'm done with marvel comics this sort of behavior is just rubbish you know uh with that with the creators just the, the words you're using is horrible you know they started uh, really going out there and i don't even want to mention what the words they said you know attacking customers attacking other creators outside of the industry so yeah I'm done with them, um, with Marvel Comics, and um, hopefully, you know, the, um, the indie, indie comics industry will be the one that saves the comics industry coming forward, going forward, and yeah, and hopefully we'll be stronger for it. So um, yeah, like I said, last yesterday I had to go into town to help him with um, some banking, pay bill, pill, bills, because um, he'd been handed cash and you can't really buy things with cash. So you had to bank the cash at the ATM, you know, to make it go into your um, F AT um, FOS card. So you could just go and pay uh, pay the bill, you know. Um, and there was some situation there with what was happening with him. Uh, and so then you, had, you know, then you had to go buy, buy food and you can do it unless you had the ATM card, right? Because nobody wants to exchange money right now. So yeah, no gloves, no, uh, no masks. Uh, where I was able to get a little pack, a little bottle of sanitizer, because I'd forgotten to get those. So we're able to. Um, so yeah, there's no gloves or no, no mask in town right now. If you're able to somewhere, be able to get sanitizer. Yeah, but uh, one of the things my neighbors told me that use vinegar. You can use vinegar or, you know, mats to clean down surfaces, um, stuff like that. Read up, you, you know, uh, on um, cleaners. You know, natural cleaners. You can do that online. Google it, uh, yeah. So yeah, like I said, the city felt really surreal. That's why I posted the photos, because it just just felt r really, really surreal. And and then came home and was like, I gotta cook food, gotta sit down, grab some sleep, otherwise it's fresh, you know, you get an anxiety attack or something like that. So if you're dealing with that right now, uh, please watch some videos on how to deal with that online. Uh, TED Talks are really good. Uh, YouTube's got some good videos on how to deal with um, anxiety uh, attacks and so on. I know you've already learned how to deal with it, but 
this is a different situation. We've never been through this sort of thing before. So it'll be good to um, teach yourself, you know, learn about how to deal with this. Um, the other thing um, um, I mentioned about um, on the movie front, they're going to remake Cliffhanger. Cliff Cliffhanger was about a, um, a uh, I think, a mountain climber, so it's Stallone. So they've just said that they've got the go ahead to make it uh, with a female lead, remake it with a female lead. Cliffhanger, Cliffhanger wasn't a great big movie. It really wasn't that much of a move, um, uh, film, you know, uh, money maker, and so now they're making it. I don't know why. So they're really, really, really. I guess maybe they're making it because um, Sylvester's a big name, but he's not even in it. So Jason Momoa is going to be in it. So I guess um, because he was an Aquaman, and every 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 woman and her friend loves, um, you know, Jason Momoa, and he was great as Aquaman. Uh, you know, and he was okay, okay as Conan the Barbarian, uh, but um, to remake Cliffhanger is really weird. I don't even know why they even want to go that far back to a movie that wasn't that much of a big deal. But they're going to. They're going to make it with a female lead, and with Jason Momoa as a, like, I guess uh, maybe a bad guy or something, or maybe as a, a co-star supporting cast. But uh, rather than trying new things. They want to go as far back into the 90s, into the 80s, as they can to, because it's, it's kind of those things, you know, nostalgia. But I don't think they should have gone with the cliffhanger. There's so many other amazing movies. But still, I think they just, they don't really understand anymore what, what entertainment is about. They're like, they, uh, they seem to be stuck in a bubble. Um, so they don't want to make anything new in case they get, you know, it doesn't work. Because as you saw, I was just mentioned yesterday, Star Wars, right? The biggest name in town didn't make the money that they needed with Disney because it's a rubbish movie, rubbish trilogy. So that they they went for a loan of a six billion dollar loan. I can't even imagine that amount of money. That's like six um, six jokers. It might seem like a small amount when you go to six jokers, but it's six billion dollars. Right, and we only have about 4.5, 4.7 million people in New Zealand. Out, and, you know, right now, majority of them out of work. Um, oh, another good thing I want to mention is that the rent rises, the hikes are frozen. Um, everybody who's a bit, who, who probably was going to be told that you know, there's going to be a rent rise, the government basically come out and said no. It, and if you were looking at getting evicted, you're not at this time. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do for some Hawaii people. I have to look at that a bit more. But hey, that's um, this is where we are. So it's tough times. I think uh, yeah, mental health is most important right now to look after ourselves mentally, mentally, and each other mentally. As I mentioned, uh, you know, to just look out for each other right now, uh, especially the you know artist community. It's uh, creative communities are very. Um, very uh, strange community in the sense of um, a lot of us, like I said earlier on, that we have to be in a situ uh, in a calm place in our m minds to be able to create good work. So, yeah, look after each other, uh, take care of your family, keep the home clean, wash your hands, and all that. Everything everybody's saying, right, or the government's saying. And from now on, I think we're just going to find it a bit more surreal. I mean, yesterday was very surreal, um, and now it's starting to sink in. So look after yourself, guys. Um, I'll try to do the 9, 9 a.m. roll call just to make sure that you guys are okay out there. Let me know you're doing okay. Keep you know post on comment trade. Let everybody in the community know that you're okay. You know uh, comments, questions, whatever. I'll try to answer what I can. And yeah, cheers. Kakitano. Have a good one, guys.